Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video and uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded which means that you can take it on your own pace and in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself and at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana that being said the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right, so let's have a look what Aquarius is to experience throughout the week now the first thing that we're gonna have a look at is going to be Aquarius is a love and relationship throughout the week so let me shuffle the cards and uh, see what you got guys right so the first card for you is going to be wow the uh the hermit followed by uh the wheel, the chariot card moving next uh, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles and the last one for you we do have the Knight of Wands Ooh. Um, well it's going to be a very important week for those that are single so we are going to start with those people first uh, you're going to have your chance or rather like an interaction with a specific individual and it's very important you do not rush the thing through okay Rushing it through, um, how do I describe it? L rushing it, blah, 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 blah. rushing it through will not allow you to get to know each other very well, and prematurely you may decide that you're not very compatible while you are, because with the hermit of the first position points that this week in term of love, it something very substantial is gonna happen to you. Okay, now the very least throughout the week, uh, even if you don't have any interaction whatsoever, because that will depend on your behavior. I mean, if you do sit all day at your couch, nobody is gonna come and knock on your door, right? So if you do not interact at all with, with people around, obviously you ain't gonna have anything there to, um, how can I say, to connect yourself with. However, the, uh, the reading shows that in that particular case, you are going to understand what to look for, what kind of traits you should look for into your future you know, partner, so you are not getting yourself disappointed. But those who does have interaction throughout the week, they need to take the things very, very easy and very, very seriously as well. Uh, important thing here is to take your time, to make your research, to get to know the person better. And uh, the, the Hermit is all about intelligence and wisdom when it comes especially for a, uh, a relationship. Do not miss the red flags and address the red flags straight away. Or if you do not see any compatibility at some point or for a certain thing, you know, try to raise the question for it because a definitely common ground can be 
found, but that will require agility of personality for both you and your person of interaction here as the Two of Pentacles stands, that some concepts you do have, some concepts that they have, they are rather outdated, okay? And they can't coexist, not just only with you or with them, but with anybody around. So uh, what, what, what should be the mandatory here is to understand that you are the light at the end of the tunnel for each other, rather than, uh, you know, to be stuck with those details that you can't find a common ground around, which are gonna be rather trifles and very petite issues. Uh, and then at the end, um, but by the end of the week, the question is going to be, you know, how you can make the things work rather than can the things work, okay? Uh, those that are in a relationship currently, well, within the week, uh, it will, their, how can I say, their understanding of their relationship or their marriage will gonna go uh, ever increasingly more toward the, uh, the, the maximum, or rather like toward the understanding that this is the relationship or the marriage that they should fight for, okay? And they rather should not, how can I say, bail out or wave the light, the light flag prematurely here. And if there is a, a problem within the marriage or within the relationship itself, that problem comes from both of the sides, okay? Not just only from you, but also from your partner. And not just only from your partner, but also from you to a certain extent. So you both has a uh, have a, a, a equal guilt, if we may say it that way. And again, at the end, the question is going to be how you can save your marriage or how you can not just only say, but how you can improve your marriage, how you can improve your relationship, rather than can that relationship be improved or not, okay? So it's a very, very important week we are here where you do focus on what is substantial for you to move forward, rather than is it substantial or not. So that was in terms of relationship. Now moving next, we do have a your career reading. So let me uh, shuffle the cards. All right, so in terms of career, the first one is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Two of Wands, uh, followed by the Justice card. And the last one we do have for you guys is going to be the Nine of Wands. So pretty easy one in terms of career. Uh, now it's not the time where you should try to do some clever maneuvers, okay? I mean, uh, take it that way, but currently your career or the job that you're working fell into a, a stream and you have to keep up with the stream or you have to go by the flow. Whatever you have been asked, you do it exactly by the book. Don't try to be, uh, how can I say, creative. So that's not a week, unfortunately for such kind of a um, for such kind of a behavior so what will be requested from you throughout the week in term of career is the things that you are good at currently instead of a trying to instead of shining with a new abilities or new knowledge and so on and so forth and for that reason you may feel a bit stagnated but that will be rather for a short period of time because as the card shows, you're going to do a pretty good job aligning with the new situation of the uh, of the job itself and of the career itself for that matter. As the Nine of Wands here stands, uh, your previous experience um, into the field that you are working at is going to play a rather big role. And also that this, this card is about um, applying some certain personal changes, which are rather conscious changes that makes you cope better with the tasks in the enterprises that you are to be addressed with throughout the week, which are to be a, a product of previous decisions and actions that have been not yours to make, okay? Uh, so for some, unfortunately, that could be a week where they will have to clear a mess that their supervisor or their boss Creates it, but nonetheless, at the end, you are going to be paid for it. Okay, here the rewards you get at the end after the enterprise is finished will match exactly 
with the effort you gave in, okay? So uh, according to those cards, you should not spare any efforts from your behalf. Those who, who slack and those who are not attentive to their job may even, you know, risk a being fired at, uh, at the end of the line here, all right? But unfortunately, once again, this, these enterprises that you are going to be involved in throughout the week are not going to give you a anything new as an asset. They're not going to teach you on anything new. They're not going to give you new knowledge. They're going to be boring to death. All right. Uh, those who are looking for a job, uh, it pretty much is going to be if... Uh, the, okay, so those that are looking for a job should direct themselves into the... Um, into the field that they are experienced at. Trying to change your career, I don't think that this week it's a good it's a good week to do so. Uh, in fact, it's highly unlikely. I mean, even if you do have any uh, interviews, pretty much people are gonna tell you that you do like the experience. So if you do desperately need a job, you just start a job that you uh, of something that you are good at, that you do have a diploma for, a uh, diploma for, I'm sorry, and that you do have a lot of experience in. So uh, that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly general tarot readings, uh, love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.